Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Lizzy from Fangirlish. It's a pleasure to be here. Hi, Lizzy. Where are you in the world? Uh, I am now currently in Central America, in Panama. Oh, wow. Yes. So that, that was probably a first for you. You didn't, you don't I, hear I, uh, I've never been. I would like to go one day. It's beautiful. I recommend it fully. My family is from here. Oh, uh, and now see, we can get into the island vibe of it all because I think I'm going to start yes. with a fun question because I, my first feeling watching the show in season one in particular, but the, now in season two was I would not survive if they dropped me off like in an island like that. Even if I had help, uh, would you survive? Do you think? Yeah, I'd be amazing. <laughs> I love the confidence. No, I would. No I would. When I was 11, I, um, I was with my girlfriend and we were climbing fences, you know, in, in this orchard. And uh, we'd been to this golf course to get like golf balls out of the lake that we had buckets and then we were going to sell them to get Christmas presents. And I had this golf stick that was broken. Anyway, I jumped off a fence and I put the golf stick straight through my leg. And we were like maybe 45 minutes away that my girlfriend had to run to get help. And anyway, I was in my bathers and I was like, I might have an arterial hemorrhage and bleed to death. So I better take my bathers off. And I did a tourniquet around my leg. And when they found me 45 minutes later, they were so impressed that I had like known how to like make a tourniquet <laughs> from watching MASH. And, um, and then I had, had put like, um, I had a little scarf and I put it on a stick and I put the stick up so that they could see me, <laughs> so they could find me. Cause I'm like, Eliza will never remember where I was. So I, I actually think I'd have pretty good island skills. I love that. Um... Well, the, the silly question, and I had a more serious question because the one thing I, I keep thinking when I think of Gretchen is, would she, does she see herself as the villain, you think? Do you see her as the villain? Or no, is she just, she feels very not. justified, I think, yeah. Well, I think that's, you know, it's like Putin invading Ukraine, right? He thinks he's right. Putin doesn't think I'm a villain. He thinks he's liberating the Ukrainian Russian speakers from neo-Nazis like the craziest people in the world don't look in the mirror and say I'm a supervillain you know while stroking their cat they more often than not the most dangerous people like from Pol Pot to other terrible people from Joseph Mengele they all think that what they're doing is uh, for a higher cause and a higher purpose and they can be the most dangerous people in the world right I think people that actually know their villains are maybe even less dangerous. I, I agree. And I like that. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And I thank appreciate you. it. I hope people enjoy the season as much as I did. Did you love it as much as first season? I loved oh, it. And the ending, oh, ooh, people are going to die. Know, right? They will yeah. die. <laughs> they will. Uh, have a good you. day. Bye. Bye.